Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial for how to make a simple rope and pulley system here in Autodesk Inventor 2020. Starting out, we're just starting here with uh, assembly. I have the XY plane visibility turned on. Go ahead and place one of these pulleys. Now that we have our two pulleys assembled, we're gonna go ahead and actually create the rope. So to do that, we need to create a part. We'll just leave it with shirt part seven. Now it's gonna ask us to create the part. Where do we want this created at? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select the XY plane. I'm gonna go select 2D sketch, the plane that goes with the profile. So in this case, it is the YZ plane. Just like that. Now what we can do is we can project the geometry of this circle here. That's gonna give us the center point. There we go. That is gonna give us the half inch dimension. You see it's half inch there. The reason it's a half inch is because through McMaster car, we selected for the rope diameter of one half inch, and then we downloaded that 3D step file for these pulleys. Now we have to create the path that that follows. And if you notice this origin, where this rope, the origin and where the surfaces are, this matters quite a bit. So we go ahead and hit finish sketch. You can see it stays there. I'm going to create a new sketch and I'm going to sketch it on this XY plane or the front face here. This should be located in the center of the groove. Should be right on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to project the geometries of the bottom of both of these circles here, or the cavity. I'm going to go back into the front face. I'm going to create a circle. And because the radius of the rope is half an inch, we want to add 0.125, or sorry, 0.25, add half an inch, add the diameter, not the radius. My mistake on that. So we can just double check that and we can say, oh yep, run it through the origin point, no problem. Now that we have that secondary circle with the diameter added to it, we're gonna be creating the path for the actual rope to go. So in our instance, imagine this is a pulley attached to a beam, and this pulley is attached to a beam here. And what would, the idea is we're gonna be pulling those two pulleys together. So this is gonna be our loose end where we pull on it. It's gonna loop through here, and then it's gonna loop back and attach. All right, like so. So now we're gonna go ahead and use our constraint tool and use the tangent constraint and constrain it to the outside edge. And you know, we can move these as we need. Uh, so let's say that like, oh, we're pulling. The little guy's gonna be down here and then this guy is gonna be more of a vertical kind of position. We can hit X for trim and now we can start trimming away the excess lines that we don't need. Uh, we can go ahead and trim you trim view. Uh, I trimmed the wrong side of that, my bad. There we go. And we can actually go ahead and delete these interior circles now. Okay, now if we hit finish sketch, should be good. Next thing we do is we go ahead and hit the sweep function. Make sure our profile is selected here. The curve is gonna be this bad boy. And there's our rope. We hit okay, and we can see because it follows the origin of the line and of the circle that we made, it should be riding perfectly flush right inside there. So if we go ahead to the view tool and we select the half section view, we go ahead and we can see how flush that is. It doesn't intersect at all. Perfect position. And there we are. 
So let's make just a very simple rope utilizing the sweep tool. Thank you for watching.